but as for him whose balance of good deeds will be light, he will have his home in Hawea pit hell. It is said that the front of his of the one in who, the hellfire head is Hawea falling, and this is taken from the verb. It is related in a hadith. Indeed, a man speaks a word for which Allah becomes angry, and that man will fall because of it in the hellfire for seventy autumns. In another narration, farther than the distance between the east and the west regarding his home is Hawea. Some have said that it is referring to the lowest depth of hell, or that it is a description of how the hellfire is, and there is a hadith which strengthens this meaning, and Allah knows best. Anas reported that the Messenger of Allah said, when a believer dies, they will ask him what so-and-so a man did and what so-and-so a man, woman did. If he, the one who is being referred to as so-and-so, already died but did not come to them, they will say he was held back in his um, literally, mother. al paid hell, and what a miserable mother, and what a miserable nurse. Until they say, what did so-and-so man do? Did he marry? And what did so-and-so woman do? Did she marry? Then they will say, leave him to rest, for he has come out of Markab, literally vessel. In a narration related by Ibn, when the believer dies his soul rule is taken to the soul of the believers and they will say marry off your brother for he was in the distress of the world and they will ask him what did so and so man do he will say he died did he not come to you they will say he will was taken to his abode al hawaya pit hell Abdullah related that the Messenger of Allah said, Fighting in the way of Allah atones for all sins. Or he said, Atones for every sin except for Al Amana, the trust, the one of the trust will be brought and it will and it will be said to him, Execute your trust. Then he will say, O oh my Lord, how, O oh my Lord, how, when the world has gone, he will say this three times, then it will be said, take him to al Huaya, pit hell, and he is taken there. Then he will fall in it until he reaches its floor. He will find it the trust he did not fulfill in the world. There upon its form, its form, which it was upon in the in the world. Then he will marry, he will carry it and place it on his shoulder. Then he will climb with it in the fire of hell. Until he sees that he has come out, at which point he will slip, and it, the trust will fall. He will fall after it forever. The amana, the trust, is in the prayer. The amana is in the psalm fasting and the uh, the amana is in a wudu ablution and the amana is in al hadith speaking of perhaps this is also referring to relating hadith and more severe than all of severe than all of that is something which one was entrusted with to keep and then to return Later, on to its proprietor, Zathan, said, I met al-Bara and said, Do you not hear what your brother, Abdullah, says? He said, He has spoken the truth. 
This hadith is related neither in al Musnah nor in the six books. A prison in hell that is called Buluz, may Allah Azzawajal to him belong to might and majesty, protect us from it. We have his third term mentioned this port prison in a hadith related by Imam Ahmad and, and narrated by Amr ibn Shu'ayb from his father, from his grandfather, from the prophets. The well of grief. Abu Huraira related that the Messenger of Allah said, Seek refuge with Allah from the well of grief. The companion said, O Messenger of Allah, and what is the well of grief? He said, A valley in hell, which hell itself seeks refuge from four hundred times a day, four hundred times every day. It was prepared for the prepared for the reciters of the Quran who do their deeds for display as the most de de detested of Quran reciters to Allah and those who do deeds to show them off to oppressive the rulers related by related it from the hadith of Al Amar ibn Sayyid from Abu and that is what is correct at Tirmidhi some have summarized it and said it is Gharib, and in his narration, the wording is 100 times. Ibn Marja has mentioned a long version, and with him also is the phrasing, those who do deeds to show them off to oppressive rulers.